Hello everyone and welcome back to Don's TV. Uh, in joyous occasions after a 5-3 victory uh, over Colchester United, uh, with Lee Brown there in the background shouting off, uh, we're joined by Jack Barry and Stuart Deacons. Um, yeah, Jack, what are, you, what are your main takeaways? Yeah, I mean, look, first half took us a little while to get going. We had you know, a couple of good patches, a couple of bad patches, but Gaffer sort of got us all in at half time and he was like to us, look, you're gonna you're gonna face this, they're gonna mix it up with what they do and with all due respect they, they did that. Um they tried to play but I think second half we just completely closed them out and showed what we were about. Yeah. Because it was a real comeback in the second half, you know, we, we were a different side when we came out. What was, what was the sort of half time team talk? Was it keep going or was it was there a change? Yeah, yeah, I mean look, it was sort of keeping it the same because first half I thought we had loads of chances, you know, we were you know getting Getting Ali in, getting Josh in. Yeah. But uh, second half, they're just like, look, win your battles, and the rest will take care of itself because we know how good we are when we get going. Uh, it just took us a little kick from the gaffer and Skivo just to push us over, and then second half, yeah, we, we played our football. And to be fair, it was like the first. Obviously, we scored the first goal in the first four minutes, wasn't it? But we were just saying before we started that there was literally chances galore in that first 15 minutes. Yeah. It's like a basketball match in a way, wasn't it? No, it was. Yeah. I mean, look, you're going to get that in League Two, aren't you? Yeah. Especially with you know sort of the way teams want to play, but I think once we sussed that out, I thought we had a good 15, as I was saying, um, yeah. sort of in the first half, and then we couldn't really, you know, transfer it into goals, unfortunately, but second half, I thought we came out with a sort of arrogance and a composure about us, and uh, yeah, we, we, we did the business. Absolutely, and I, I think when you looked at the first half, we were a little bit off them, but then second half, it was like against Rams, like a pack of, pack of dogs up front, just hack, hacking up every single ball. Yeah. Um, was that sort of that key to where we play, sort of the high intensity, the high pressure? Yeah, I mean, look, you've got people up top, the likes of Bugle, Davison and Ali, who are just going to run, you know, until their legs fall off. So um, it was good that we sort of had, you know, those two as a base to start off the press. Uh, we knew the press was working because... It worked in the first half on occasions. Yeah. But um, yeah, look, that you said to us, Hunt, do what you're doing. You know, we're fitter than most teams in this league. I like to think. So I think. I think we've seen that this season, sort of outrunning yeah. teams quite comfortably. Yeah. I mean, Jake Reeves and Amani Little must have racked up about a marathon each game. The amount, 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 amount of sort of um, pitch they cover. So yeah, fantastic. And um, you shot in there at the end. Yeah. What, what yeah. was that? You see naming lights. <laughs> I mean, look, you get a bit of confidence. I mean, <laughs> sort of, everyone in the team seems to. Yeah. Have Little crack shot at the end, you know what I mean? So, I mean, look, that shows our confidence. That shows we're getting into good positions and we're getting into shooting opportunities. I think, as we said before, we had something like 31 shots, which yeah, is a stark contrast. To, yeah, stark contrast to the other night. Yeah. And sharing the goals around as well. Obviously, Josh Joseph got another couple. Joe Lewis. Yeah. So we're sharing yeah. the goals. <laughs> if you look at the goals, we're actually sharing the goals. It's not all relying on Ali, you know, that sort of side. But is that is that really important? Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, look, a couple of them came from set pieces. Uh, we worked on, you know, just attacking it, being if, if your head comes off, your head comes off, you know what I mean? But just attack the ball, you know, with an intent to win it. And I think that's exactly what we did. Um, and yeah, look, Davo popped up with a few goals, which he thoroughly deserved because yep. he works his heart out every single game. It was good to see him getting the start and really showing that what he can do up top. I think today yeah. was a perfect game for him, really. Him and Ali playing together in that front two seems to just be relentless for, for back lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was nice to see him get a goal, which we were actually funnily enough watching um, on the pre-match show where he took it on the inside of his foot and then levered it in the back yeah. of the net. And it was yeah, like yeah. almost a carbon copy, um, sort of in the finish. Obviously, the ball from... Um, who was the ball from, actually? I, I, uh, Lose me. So he got two goals and an assist. <laughs> So and it feels with Josh, like it? Josh tends to get goals in bunches, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, in he terms of he goes through spills, yeah. isn't it? He's very much yeah. a, I want to say a confidence player, but to be fair, his second goal tonight, what a touch. Yeah, a touch I mean, and finish. Look, you can count, you know, loads of times he did that last season, and when he gets the shirt, when he, you know, gets on the pitch, he produces, and he's always shown that, even in sort of like the Papa John's game or, you know, etc., etc., if I'll try he gets goals. So it's just getting the ball to him, which is all, all of our jobs. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they'll do the rest. And that's over the last couple of, probably last month or so, you've been getting through forward quite a lot more. Is that something you're trying to add to your game? Because yeah. when you get forward, you're, you're dangerous going forward in that way. No, for sure. I mean, look, the, sort of initially, they want us to defend you know, as well as we have. We want to keep clean sheets. And I think we've done that really well to a point this season. Yep. Uh, but I think for me individually, it's something that I've sort of definitely tried to improve upon and me getting forward, you know, creating some chances, it's, uh, yeah, it's all part of it. So was that a really important reaction from, from Boxing Day? Yeah. Uh, we were saying pre-match that we, we only lost back-to-back -back games with Morecambe and Akron, so we normally bounce back really well. Yeah, yeah. Was that really the sort of message, quick turnaround and bounce back? Yeah, exactly. I mean, look, this is what 
our third game in a week, do you know what I mean? So we're, uh, <laughs> we're getting battered with the fixtures. But um, no, the good thing is, look, you can quickly forget the previous result. And I think yep. that was massively important to what we you know, did tonight. And I think we, we implied that in a really, really good way. I mean, yeah, look, there were sort of a few times where we got undone occasionally when they broke through. But overall, we're defending really well. Yep. And going forward, we're getting chances and we're getting goals now. It's brilliant. They're a team yep. with quite a strong front line as well for, for the sort of the relative position in the table. You, it's, they're quite strong players. You know. How did you enjoy your battle against them? Um, Fevrier, their right wing? Yeah, was yeah, last yeah, yeah. Fast yeah, yeah. No, he was, was rapid. He was obviously something that I've not really come up against this season. Um, I didn't realise you know, how good he was on his left foot. But um, no, I think, look, when you suss them out for a half or so, you can yep. get the better of them and you know what they're going to do. So second half, I don't think he touched the ball once. And... Uh, yeah, it's a good little battle. It's good. <laughs> I, I enjoy them. I cherish them. I love them. So what does what recovery look now? So we've got four day, three day rest now until three we days, go to Forest yeah. Green. What's recovery look like for the team? Yeah, so I think the main thing is just making sure we rest mm -hmm. and we do bits and bobs in terms of like our positioning, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But I think the main part now is, you know, management, player management. Um, obviously, we've got players that are coming off the back of playing sort of every single fixture, do you know what yep. I mean? So yeah. I think the main thing is... Um, you know, to make sure we have balance, make sure we're, you know, fully ready for whatever comes. And look, we have a bench now that can play. I mean, we've seen that against, obviously, Pompey the other week. Yes. We've got a whole sort of bench on the side that are able to do a job just as well as we are. So I think yeah. that's what's a massive change from this year, for sure. And let's not forget, you've played in every game over the Christmas yeah. period. How are you feeling? Yeah, I, mean, I, know, <laughs> I know you're still young, you know, but how are you feeling? That's yeah. quite intense, isn't it? Yeah, no, it definitely is, but like, you, you, you cherish these moments. No looking so. over to JJ and going, can, <laughs> can, we get, can I get a break? <laughs> no, exactly. But, I mean, look, at, at my age, you kind of take what you get. You know, I, lo I, love, I love playing. Yeah. JJ's given me the trust. Uh, so I think it's really important for me to kind of, you know, give that back to him and you know, just ensure that I'll, I'll do the business defensively and obviously more now attacking. Yeah, yeah. Attacking-wise, and I think... It's just a matter of you know keeping fit, keeping um, yeah you know keeping myself in a good enough shape to see myself through, and hopefully I can play sort of every game this season. Well, talking of playing a lot of games, obviously we've been our, our sort of show today has been looking back at 2023. Yeah, you're one of the players that have been here all, all of the all of the calendar year. How have you found it yourself? You know, what sort of personal challenges have you been on, and, and sort of getting yourself as our first team left back? Yeah, I mean, look, last season, sort of my breakthrough season. You know, you, you're gonna come across challenges and I think last year I pretty much experienced everything you can really mm. um, but no I think what's really important now is that we put it behind us and we're in a position now where everyone's sort of got their minds on the target we know exactly what we're going to do and we're a very very competitive team and I think personally I think I've developed a lot in terms of positioning and getting forward as you said so it's, but there's always more to do, do you know what I mean like you never the finished article until you are so um, yeah, I was just keeping my head down, working hard, and hopefully we can get more, more results. It's interesting saying because credit to you because obviously that was your breakthrough season, but it feels like you've been here <laughs> politely forever. Yeah, <laughs> it does feel like you made that position very much your own on that. So no, yeah, it's really, that. really interesting you. as well. <laughs> cool. Well, look, rest up. Yeah, just just one question, sort of looking at your development as well. How important is that figure of Lee Brown being in the dressing room? At sort of, no, <laughs> just there. sort of as, as, <laughs> out there shouting up at you, but Still also as a mentor, sort of as someone who's played league football yeah. for well, he's. 33, I think. You know, play football for probably 10, 15 years. Yeah, exactly. How good is that to learn from him? No, definitely. I mean, look, in <laughs> behind the changing room, he, he proper gives it to me. <laughs> you know, it, it, but that's all part of the sort of competitive nature yeah. that we have. Uh, it's all sort of light-hearted. Mm -hmm. You know, he knows what I could do better mm -hmm. because he's been there, he's done that, he's been in my position. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a very like massive learning point for yeah, me. Same yeah. with obviously all the other senior boys as well. So, so we've got a very good sort of foundation yep. and experience and a mixture of youth. Brilliant. Well done. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well done. I really appreciate it. Take care, guys. Rest up.